So then, where are we off today? Well, I've got some appointments in Nutsford. Um, so, uh, I'm going to use up a voucher that the girls gave me from work. And I'm going to have a luxury nail uh, manicure and a pedicure. And I'm going round the charity go shop. The charity shops while I'm doing that. This oh. isn't a vlog of your life, you know. It is, it's meant to be reselling. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, yes. So, so we're going round the charity shops. Going round the charity shops, importantly, to uh, see if you can get any stock for Amazon or eBay. eBay. Not so usually quite it's a good location. Well, it's expensive, but yes. you can get the odd thing there. Yeah. But it's nice to have a look round. Yeah. Isn't it? Are you hunting? Oh, he's up there. Where's she gone? Where the hell did she go? God, that was quick. There she is, trying to run away from the camera.
I saw this uh, Laura Ashley wallpaper. Um, it was four quid, and I wasn't sure whether to get it or not. I might have made a mistake actually not getting it. Um, but generally, I go off about fifteen pound a roll you can get for them. So a bit too expensive for me. Um, you can see here I'm outside the charity shop actually. Um, basically, my grandma always used to tell me when we would go around the charity shops way before I started reselling when I was a little kid, uh, just to look in the windows because you never know what we might have. Uh, but generally now it's all this kind of vintage stuff that. Um, um, you know, it's okay for sort of uh, a casual buyer or whatever, but for a reseller, it's not really worth my time. But as you can see there, um, there's a load of different vintage stuff in the windows. It's always worth having a quick look in there just to see if you can't find a little hidden gem. And I also wanted to point out that Bernardo's have started resealing uh, pre-owned media and labelling them as refurbished, pre-owned and refurbished. Don't get caught out, those seals are obviously reseals, it says at the top of the uh, thing there, um, basically pre-owned and refurbished. Um, so yeah, I nearly actually bought some of these the other week, I just wanted to make people aware they are not brand new and sealed. Just a couple of bits today, we've got this clunky, the uh, Gruffalo one. Um, I picked this up because it was $4.99, she's taken the stick off actually. Um, but yeah, that was $4.99, so I was happy with that. Don't know what these go for at the moment, I've not had one in a few weeks. Um, I'm guessing similar to what I got last time, about 2025. And I got these, now these are what I call sleepers. So what I mean by that is you pay a quid for them, uh, you, might get a t you might get 10 quid, but because they have such a slow sell through, you might be sort of um, holding them for like six months or a year, and then they'll sell on some idle Tuesday at 3.02 p.m. Um, so yeah, they're, they're what I call, call inventory sleepers. Uh, you just pick them up for a quid. You'll get some good money for them, but they take their uh, sweet time to sell. Anyway, uh, that's stuff I picked up. Not a lot. We're in Nutsford, so it's quite expensive, so I don't generally get too much. Um, but yeah, I've got to go shopping now, so I'll take you along. Olives. Um, I like the black ones more though. Oh, there we are. I love those ones. Not that I shop at Waitrose or anything, but sometimes I like to go in just to feel posh. Um, and what I always get is this uh, roast chicken salad. Uh, it's like a baguette. It's so good. It's like the bomb. So, uh, yeah, are you having a bit of trouble getting it out there? Um, but, yeah, so, um, yeah, definitely go in Weight Rose and get one of these if they're about at lunchtime. Alright, guys, I'll leave the video there. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like down below if you did. Uh, throw me a comment about any questions or queries you may have. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So, I'll see you very soon, guys.